Hey there everyone, welcome to Ted Growth. Today we're gonna learn what are the issues when we're trying to download an app from the app store but it's simply not working. So today we're gonna talk from the basic topic to the most advanced topic regarding this uh, issue. So the first one that we're gonna do, uh, well of course we might have to switch from data to Wi-Fi. So how can we do that? Simply just go here and switch off your uh, Wi-Fi and see if the issue is uh, still there. The other thing that we want to do is to uh, restart your phone. Why are we doing this? Well, the reason behind it is because there there are times when we have like like bugs on the on these apps, and really it's nothing to worry about. It happens more often than you think. So. We're gonna like restart the phone and this is gonna help us troubleshoot any issues regarding the app store and any other type of issue that might be messing up with your phone. So don't worry about it. Okay, this one is now uh, restarting. We're gonna go inside the home screen and we want to check some issues here on the settings. So what are we gonna do? Over here, we're gonna go to general and we want to check for software, software updates. This is very, very necessary for, for so many iPhones and people might not uh, have a glimpse of the importance of this. At the moment, while recording this video, the latest version is iOS 15.1. So you should be having this type of, um, you, you should be having this version if you are watching this video like now or in the next uh, few months so check this this is very important uh, well another thing that we want to do and it's very relevant is to make sure the day and time are up to date or synchronized with uh, your time zone why are we doing this there is a certificate inside this uh, cell phone and if we don't have the date and time correct this might not work so how can we fix it now that we are in settings just go to date and time and as you can see here set automatically you just have to turn that on in case it's off and that's all we have to do so you might notice this is very simple there are times where uh, apple might be having some issues and well this is nothing to worry about they usually fix it within the next uh 10 to 15 minutes i'm gonna uh link uh leave a link below where you can check all of that uh, on the apple page directly so don't worry about it so the last thing we want to talk about, and it's most common while having this issue, it's the DNS problem. And this has nothing to do with your iPhone. In fact, it has to do with your Wi-Fi. Most of the time, these are issues with your Wi-Fi or internet connection overall. So what we're we gonna do, I don't have a router with me right here, but if you turn it off and you leave it like that for like three seconds to a minute and, they, and then you plug it back, this is gonna fix the issue right away because it's something uh, to do with the DNS. I'm not gonna go fully into that, but uh, you have to do that or you can uh, go on the back of the router and click on that. You have to press the reset button for about 15 to 30 seconds. This depends on the manufacturer and that's gonna solve the issue. If, if this is not your problem, I recommend you to take it to uh, authorized service so you don't have to like guess what's going on and if none of this is working it might be due to some really bad uh, issue regarding the software so that's all i want to talk about on this video see you next time here in ted grove see you